when you're on call, you're on call 24 hours a day. When you get that call to go to work, you're usually getting an hour's heads up. Be at the shop in an hour, we'll be on the road for this time. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. You gotta have some good drive, you gotta have some good work ethic. I mean, you're getting called at three in the morning. It's not easy, I don't think it gets any easier. Before you get signed off to run the equipment, there's a quiz. You need to be competent, you need to understand what's going on. It is a lot more than just operating the truck. That's getting to the shop, that's filling out your pre-trip book, filling out your log book, checking your fluid levels, making sure everything's good to go. Twenty-four hours a day for two weeks. You always have your phone on. Um, you have to always be fit for duty and ready to go when, the, when you get that call. First duties are to prepare and make sure whatever unit you're assigned to is ready to go for work, uh, ready to do the task at hand, and then have a big meeting before we go. Once you're signed in and you got your orientation, let's go to work. Right now with the uh, current location. Uh, it's pretty wet. Uh, it's best to throw a set of chains on so we can maneuver around the location in case it gets soft. Well, right now, uh, we already have a set draped over the tires. Uh, with us being on location, all we need is generally one set of chains. But if we're driving down roads, track camp policy is all set. Both uh, axles and one steer and a trailer tire as well. This is very, very physically demanding. The rigging's heavy lifting, hammering, and you're eating convenience store subs and beef jerky for dinner. <laughs> People come in and, you know, they want to make the money and, you know, they're just here for the paycheck kind of thing, but there is work involved. You know, they can tell the family they're gonna make a lot of money, but uh, when it comes down to it, you're gonna have all that family that's gonna be missing you, right? You're gonna miss those hockey games and all those family dinners, the birthdays, the anniversaries and all that, right? The 15 and six schedule, I personally love it. When you're busy, the 15 days tend to go by quite fast. Having six days off with your family, to yourself, or whatever it is that you're doing, you can do a lot with six days, that's huge. It is not for everyone. You're on call 24 hours a day. Your social life, and as far as getting out of town, doing you know, doing whatever you want to do outside of town, kind of restricts you. It can be tough on your family. If you go from working a five a day a week job, seeing your family every night, it takes some adjusting. When we're in the winter time at our peak of about 60 rigs that we're taking care of, it gets tiring. You're home for, eight hours for your logbook reset, and then as soon as your eight hours are up, you're getting another phone call to go to work. We call it the Kenworth Hotel, because when we're at our peak in the winter time, we're usually sleeping in these trucks more than your bed at home. The times that you're in a hotel are short and sweet. It's, uh, it's there to get houred up again. You're not there for a long duration of time. During breakup, you usually go through like three pairs of coveralls a day sometimes. It depends how muddy the location is. It's fun. I love it. It's challenging mentally and physically. The physical activity sometimes can be exhausting. And mentally, like we do pull long hours. You can't be like, oh, I worked four hours. It's my lunchtime now. If work has to be done, it's, it has to be done. I came in here working for TriCan. I didn't have much mechanical knowledge whatsoever, but the people that you work with, the mechanics that are here, are so helpful in teaching you how to maintain these trucks. That's our job. Uh, you can be out for a couple days, and when you get back to the shop, you're gonna have to take care of the truck, you're gonna have to do some maintenance, so when you get back to that shop, you could be looking at a good five hours, because you gotta wash it, and then you gotta maintain it. It's part of the job. I've always been outside working, you know. I love the outdoors, the elements, the hard work. You come on to a job like this, and you pull all this equipment on, and then you rig in, and then you have all this iron, and you have all this equipment running, and it's like you kind of realize, like, wow, we, we did that in a couple hours, and then next thing you know, you're rigging it all back out, and then you're off to the next job, right? The, that day or the next morning. Or once you get to know the job, and you understand exactly how it happens, and how the smallest guy to the highest guy, everyone's 100% involved, and it takes everybody to do the whole job, right? The crews are awesome. You build some incredibly awesome uh, friendships and whatnot. I mean, the guys and girls that work around here, 
pretty fantastic. Benefits of the company are unmatched. I think we have some of the best benefits as far as wall servicing companies go. TriCan will invest in you as an employee and if you're showing that you're willing to put in the, the time and effort to better this company, then the company will better you. The guys that come into this job with, uh, with the mindset that they're gonna rule the oil field and get to the top in a month or so. Now, <laughs> it's not the way it works. It's all part of the job. You know, come into it with an open mind and a good work ethic and you'll do absolutely fine.